I'm here to talk about doing minor facial retouching, um, such as lines, wrinkles, and a couple of other things. This is a picture of my mom taken a couple of years ago. Very, very attractive woman. Uh, trying to soften the wrinkles on the face and the neck here. And I'll show you the after here. And you can see how it's softer. The neck has been fixed on there. So let's get started here. Whenever I do a photo, the first thing I do is duplicate the layer because that way if there is a problem we can go back to the original layer. What we need to do is to select the face and this does work with Photoshop and the more advanced elements as providing you have the quick selection tool and I go and highlight the face you don't want the hair because you're going to soften it a very slight blur on here and then I'm going to subtract pull this in we could always erase afterwards I've done a pretty good job here float this to a new layer control J or Apple J and I'll just shut off these other two layers so you see what we have here we have a little bit of hair here we want to erase this stuff here so we go to the eraser tool go over here just get rid of that so what we want to do we just want to soften the face you're not going to make a 90 year old look 22 it's unnatural on there and what we do is we go to the filter blur Gaussian blur and I'll pull this over here you want to soften it you don't want to make it a complete blur like this depending on the photo on there so and then we can shut off the preview and this here this is just keep it as soft as you can it's just very very little okay so we got that there pull it in and I have the preview that's good you still see the wrinkles but they're less clear the other thing too is when we're working with the face here you don't want the eyes blurred out so what we have to do is we want to erase the eyes and the lips so we go to the eraser tool and it looks like I'm creating a mask right now and I just go like that you can always undo or step backwards if you need to and I'm going to just get rid of a little bit more of that hair there on there and I put the background face on there looks much better if I shut off the top you can see how it's a little bit diffused last thing I want to do I want to work on the neck here and all we have to do is use what I like is the smudge tool and I just go across it Oops. make the brush a little bit smaller and I just drag back and forth over it over like that do it in very short strokes so we've done this photo here and so I'll go back to the original that's the original and then this is the face here as I said we haven't made her 19 but it's a very flattering photo one final tip if you are doing retouching for people do not show them the before and the after picture just show them the after picture they'll be very pleased and will want to call you back.